What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. This will be the recap for The Boys Season 3 Episode 7. And Episode 7 kicks off with Ashley trying to put down Starlight as a liar about what she said recently in a live stream. You know how Episode 6 ended. And she uses her connection to Kamiko as a talking point during this. We then jump to Butcher and Huey who go to Legend to see Soldier Boy. They've been trying to track down another former member of Payback but have had no luck. Homelander's then shown visiting Maeve in a lockdown facility she's being held at and asked where Butcher and Soldier Boy are. Homelander is clearly threatened by them and Maeve can see it and she seems to have some type of enjoyment and pleasure in this because he seems to be scared. Huey, Soldier Boy, and Butcher are attacked while searching for Mindstorm, the other member of Payback. Butcher is placed in an endless nightmare as a result. Uh, he's reliving his childhood during this and we see that his dad was abusive and called him a called him a cunt a lot which you know is one of his favorite words so now i guess in a way it's kind of like saying okay he uses this as kind of a way to take back the narrative use it as a powerful way from his own trauma and you know using it towards others who he thinks are actual cunts <laughs> so we then jump to mother's milk and starlight comforting kamiko and frenchie kamiko wants starlight to help her get her own or to help her get her powers back permanently we then jump to Butcher's Nightmare, showing that his father's abuse plays a big role in some of his behaviors as an adult, like I just touched on. We then have Huey and Soldier Boy continuing the hunt Mindstorm, but it seems he's brainwashed several people into attacking them along their journey to try to find him. We then see Homelander attending a rally to further step on Starlight's recent comments. Homelander is hallucinating about Soldier Boy, showing that he is afraid of him. He then goes to milk some cows to drink their milk before... <laughs> Before Newman interrupts him, she tells him to tighten up, but Homelander starts to choke her. She delivers a note to him, but it's not shown what it is. A train is then revealed to be alive, and Ashley tells him about his about his heart was replaced with Blue Hawks. This should cure, and this should cure his heart condition. Kamiko then reveals to Frenchie that she is getting Compound V again because she realizes Compound V isn't the problem, but that some people just don't use it for good, like Kamiko, who wants to protect her family. That's what I got out of their interaction. Black Noir is then shown reliving his abuse from Soldier Boy, and the plan Stan had to replace Soldier Boy with Homelander, who was a baby at the time, by giving Soldier Boy to the Russians. So there's your there's one of your earth big connections related to Soldier Boy and Homelander. You'll get more answers in this in episode eight. So again, Black Noir relives his abuse from Soldier Boy and the plan that Stan had all those years ago to replace Soldier Boy with Homelander, who was a baby at the time, by giving Soldier Boy to the Russians. We then see Mother's Milk coming to coming home to Todd, who believes Homelander is the hero and Starlight is the problem. He ends up punching Todd. This scene is another cool scene dealing with the media keeping people divided. And I honestly, the way they're highlighting a lot of this stuff and how people don't want to have conversations, they just want to attack each other and jump down each other's throats and label each other certain things without hearing where the other person is coming from. Even if both parties are very level headed, they both become irate because they're on different differing sides. It's like, OK, are you guys going to talk or are you going to act like children? <laughs> so we then jump to Starlight revealing the Homelander's face. Or Starlight reveals to Homelander's face that she isn't afraid of him anymore. And he says a lot of stuff not realizing that Starlight has her Instagram live streaming. So while he's like antagonizing her, she has a live stream going. And people that are watching, of course, are hearing all of this dialogue. And then when the camera gets in his face, he's trying to play it off. Nice try, bro. <laughs> Huey and Soldier Boy track down Mindstorm in a barn. Huey saves Mindstorm and takes him away from the barn because Huey, Huey wants to save Butcher. These nightmares reveal Butcher lives with a lot of regret. He blames himself for always getting over, for always getting lover, loved ones killed. And then we jump to Soldier Boy arriving after Butcher wakes up and attacks Mindstorm, then kills him after getting answers. Butcher questions what was revealed, but Soldier Boy just walks off. Starlight is then shown revealing that these drugs are killing Huey and Butcher, the temporary compound V. Butcher tells Huey they need more they need more though to finish the job starlight delivers the compound v to kamiko who takes it and has her powers restored we then jump to homelander getting a call from soldier boy who reveals that edgar took his semen and made a baby boy in fall of 1980 who was born in 1981 this boy is homelander homelander has conflicted emotions and the episode ends 
Yes, you heard me correctly. Like I said, you're going to get more answers in episode eight, of course, the season finale. But again, Homelander gets a call from Soldier Boy, who reveals that Edgar took his semen and made a baby boy in the fall of 1980, who was born in 1981. This boy was Homelander, meaning that, yes, Homelander is the son of Soldier Boy. And you're going to see that explored a little bit further in episode eight. You're going to get some great action sequences. You're all going to get some cool fight sequences kind of similar to on par with what you got in hero gasm i would say i enjoyed the ones in the finale a lot more and some of the arcs and developments that were explored in the in the season finale but yeah i'm going to be uploading this obviously before the episode airs because i don't even know what time amazon drops these episodes anymore so i'm just going to have this uploaded before the episode airs possibly but yes soldier boy is the father of homelander you're going to have that explored again, like I was saying, in the season finale. You're going to get a lot of uh, good arcs being explored. Some full full circle moments for certain people that have been striving to get to a life like they've been chasing for, for a certain time in between what's happened in season one, season two, going off and living their own peace. Certain characters, of course, maybe potentially dying. I'm not going to say if anyone actually dies or not. The finale, though, to me, in episode eight, very rewarding and it ends in a way that also kind of highlights another thing that i think is a big problem that i'll talk about once the finale comes and i do my recap for that episode but if you guys have already watched episode seven and you enjoyed it let me know all that down in the comment section below if you're someone who's watching this video because you just don't care about spoilers what are your thoughts on homelander being the son of soldier boy do you like that narrative do you like that dynamic do you like how that is kind of also again further tapping into this familial trauma we know we have seen homelander suffer with when it relates to not having a family growing up and the absence of a mother father and you know that weird relationship he had with mallory at one point when she was around all of this stuff is now coming to a head i feel like for him and he can't deal with it and you'll see how that unfolds in episode eight when the season finale airs next week or releases, I should say, <laughs> on Prime Video. But let me know what you guys have thought about season three so far down in the comment section below. What have you thought about all these episodes? What have you thought about Hero Gasm? And of course, what did you think about episode seven now that it's been released? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification and miss a video in the description. I have links to social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.